Hey what is up this is James and welcome to another episode of Adobe Premiere Pro Free Class. Today we are going to learn how you can use ripple edit tool, rolling edit tool and rate stretch tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started here. I have already opened Adobe Premiere Pro and this is a blank sequence and I want to start the editing from here. So I have prepared some clips and a music track so that we can show you how to use ripple edit tool and rolling edit tool. If I just click and drag this music file on the second track and now if I just click and drag the video files here then it will look like just like this one. By the way if you want to follow along with me using these clips then you can download the clips from the link in the description below. I have put a link in the description. So this is the basic edit. If I just play it back you can see there is a music track and along with that there are some video tracks. So I want to cut the video track so that it matches with the beat of my music track. Suppose here is a beat. So here is a bit I want to cut the first clip here so that the cut happens on that bit right. So to cut the clip what we can do we can take help from this razor tool this is here or we can just click and drag this end portion of this clip till this point that will trim the clip till this point right. And next we can just select the second clip and we can just click and drag this clip here. So if I play it back. So you can see the cut have been happened on this music beat right but do you know you can do that in a much easier way using ripple edit tool so let's undo the edits if i press ctrl and z or z it will undo the edits now select the ripple edit tool which is here the third one from this list this is the ripple edit tool if you don't see ripple edit tool here you can just click and press hold here then you can select the ripple edit tool or you can use the shortcut of b on your keyboard to select the ripple edit tool now if I just click and drag this clip here. So what is happening here? It is trimming the clip till this point and it is also taking the second clip on this point so that you don't need to close the gap. It is closing the gap automatically. That is the power of ripple edit tool. Now let's edit the entire sequence. So the second clip, I don't want to start the second clip from here. I want to start the second clip from this portion. So I'm just clicking and dragging this portion here. So it is closing the gap again automatically right and now if I play it back. So here is a bit I want to cut the clip here if I just click and drag this section here it will cut automatically and it will shift the position of other clips till this point right and also you can see there are some music track along with this video clip. I don't want to use the audio from the video clips I just want to use the music clip for that kind of scenario what can we do we can select the selection tool then we can press alt on your keyboard and then we can select the audio track then we can press delete on our keyboard that will delete the music track right so again let's select the ripple edit tool and play back the sequence so I want to begin the clip from this section I'm just dragging the first point here and and I want to end the clip here Again, I want to end the clip here. I want to end it here. And I want to end this clip here. So that is my final edit. If I just play it back. It is looking okay but if you pay closer attention to the clips then you can see the second clip is looking like a little bit longer but we want to trim it down a little bit. If we again use the ripple edit tool then if we just click and drag this section what happened let's see it is trimming the clip but it is also shifting the position of the next clips but we don't want that we don't want to change the position of the next clips we just want to trim it down a little bit so that it looks shorter right. So for that kind of scenario we can take help from rolling edit tool. So select rolling edit tool the shortcut is N. You can just select it here and then you can click and drag this portion till here. Then it will adjust the duration of this clip but it will not shape the position of other clips. If I play it back you will see other clips are perfectly in sync. So that is the thing using ripple edit you can change the duration of a single clip if I just show you again 
I am using ripple edit I can change the duration of a single clip at once right it is just changing the duration of a single clip but if we want to adjust two clip together then we have to use the rolling edit tool so here you can see it is changing the duration of both clips together now let's see the next tool which is rate stretch tool I'm just clicking this clip here on this timeline and now if I select rate stretch tool from this section the third one from this group if I play it back it is looking like a slow motion video right so if I want to increase the speed of this video we can take help from rate stretch tool so i have already selected the rate stretch tool and now if i just click and drag it it will speed up the clip so here you can see the speed have been increased right again if you want to slow it down a little bit then you can just click and drag it to your right just like that then it will slow down the video again if i drag it a lot it will slow down the video right so that is the functionality of rate stretch tool we will learn about rate stretch tool and how you can speed ramp the video on a later episode but for now you can just increase the speed of any clips or you can just decrease the speed of any clips using the rate stretch tool so that is all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.